Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's your boy Tacho here. And we're back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes. Okay, so the game is finally out of maintenance, and we have a couple of things to discuss here. So there's some refines for a couple of the older units, and we have the stat leaks for the newer units on the Book 5 banner, as well as a couple of other things here and there that I just want to bring to you guys' attention. So we're going to start things off with the refines, starting with the Sealed Falchion refine. So most of the Lucina and Krom units are going to have access to this weapon. And what it does is 16 might and 1 range, with effective damage against dragon foes and HP up 3. And also at the start of combat, if unit's HP is not full, or if a bonus is active on unit, grants all stats up 5 during combat. Okay, so previously it did all stats up 5 if you were not on full HP, but they've added another condition there where it's going to activate if you have an active bonus. Pretty good condition, and it's going to make it really easy to get this to activate during the first round of combat, which was typically the only time where Krom and Lucina would not be able to gain the plus 5 to all stats. So pretty good condition, and it's going to make the weapon a whole lot better. Also, it's going to, at the start of combat, if foe's HP is above or equal to 75%, grants attack speed and defense plus 5 to unit during combat, and the foe cannot make a follow-up attack. So, a pretty good defensive effect there, where foes are not going to be able to go ahead and get a natural double attack on Krom and Lucina. Of course, they may have something like null follow-up or a skill that gives them a guaranteed follow-up. So they may be able to eat through this effect, but still, the protection is nice and <laughs> definitely something they're going to like to have. And attack speed and defense up 5 when coupled with the all stats up 5 on the main effect of this weapon is just really good. So not too shabby of a refine for Lucina and Krom. Alright, next up we've got Naoi's refine. So purifying breath, slows special trigger, cooldown count plus 1, that's unfortunate. It keeps the Lightning Breath downside there, but it does also have Distant Counter, so unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range, very good stuff. And if the foe's range is 2, it deals adaptive damage like all Breath weapons in the game. So it's basically just Lightning Breath with a little bit more Might. This one's got 14 Might and a flat HP up 3. And the Special Refine is at the start of combat. If unit's HP is above or equal to half, Grants all stats plus 4 to unit during combat, and neutralizes unit's penalties. So a pretty solid effect there. Anytime you've got a distant counter weapon that also comes with stat bonuses, you're doing pretty good. And neutralizing penalties active on Naoi, that's very nice as well. So Dominance is not going to be able to get the better of her, as well as a couple of other things. So pretty solid weapon. The only downside is the plus one special trigger. Dragons already have a hard time activating specials, so it kind of sucks that they have to also deal with plus one special count. But I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world, especially not when you're getting distant counter and then all these stat bonuses and negating penalties. All right, next up we've got Mists Refine. So Elena's Staff, 14 might and two range. Grants res up 3. Foe cannot counter attack. So built in Dazzling Staff. RIP to anyone who inherited Dazzling Staff on their miss and were using the Wrathful Staff refines. It kind of sucks that we're not able to choose which Dazzling Staff or Wrathful Staff refine the new staff units are getting. But I guess it's just tough luck with that. Also, at the start of the turn. Inflicts attack and speed minus 7 on the nearest foes within 4 spaces through their next actions. And after combat, if unit attacked, inflicts attack and speed minus 7 on the target and foes within 2 spaces of target through their next actions. So, it's got a start of the turn debuff effect. I guess that would be similar to Hikami that we saw on the New Year's Gunthra. She was doing all stats minus 4 to the nearest foes in 4 spaces while this is doing attack and speed minus 7. And then it's also just built in fear and slow combined. <laughs> so I guess it's a decent debuff weapon. Also, at the start of the turn, 
inflicts panic on the nearest foes within four spaces through their next actions. And after combat, if unit attacked, inflicts panic on the target and foes within two spaces of target through their next actions. So this is actually pretty cool. Being able to inflict panic on the foes without needing to meet any HP requirements is actually pretty dope. <laughs> so at the start of the turn in four spaces, if there's any enemies, you're going to be able to get panic on them without needing to have more HP. Pretty solid. And I think this is definitely going to make Mist a whole lot better of a support option than she was before. But it's not like the craziest refine in the world, so... I wouldn't say it's going to jump Mist up from being a complete nobody into <laughs> like mega awesome tier or anything like that. But still not too shabby. And we've saved the best for last. Okay, so Oliver's refine. This man gets Tome of Favors. 14 might and 2 range. If foe does not use beast damage, grants attack and res up 5 to unit during combat, and restores 7 HP to unit after combat. So attack and res up 5, and then he gets a plus 7 HP heal. Pretty good. Also, unit can move to a space adjacent to a beast ally that can equip sing or dance. So basically, he's able to wings of mercy himself next to Rayson or Leanne, or I guess Raphael as well, without needing to meet any sort of HP requirement. <laughs> so instantly being able to jump like that is pretty awesome. And also, if unit is within three spaces of a beast ally that can equip Singer Dance, grants attack and res up five to unit during combat. So Oliver is just going to be <laughs> this insanely good res tank now. With plus 10 res to his natural res bulk that he already had, it's going to be really tough to bring him down with magic attacks. Unless, of course, your name is Guinevere and <laughs> you happen to have effective against tomes or something like that. But otherwise, a pretty cool refine. And you guys got to see this as well. This is the attack animation for Oliver's tome. <laughs> like, how awesome is that? He actually summons an angel of himself to do his bidding. Pretty dope, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm kinda jelly that I didn't pick up the copy of Oliver that I had from Hall of Forms. My Oliver was really decked out. I had Close Foil, I had Lull Attack and Res, I had Pulse Smoke, and I also had Ruptured Sky. So, the man was just, like, built for the taking, but <laughs> I chose to go for Micaiah instead. I mean, you can't really blame me because I was about to get the plus 10 on Micaiah from that final copy in Hall of Forms. <laughs> but dude, low-key, I'm kind of salty that I didn't take Oliver, especially after this animation here. Like, come on, tell me. This is not like meme status galore right there. I would have loved to just style on people with a built-up Oliver. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> Your boy is going to regret that decision for some time. Okay, so next up we have the stats for the brand new units. Let me actually go ahead and pull up these little footnotes I have with their super boons and super banes. Or <laughs> rather just super boons. I took out all the super banes so it would be a little easier to read. Alright, so we're going to start things off with Regan. So Regan's got 38 HP, 36 attack, 40 speed, 30 defense, and 24 res for a BST of 168. Pretty strong for cavalry. And she's also got super boons in both speed and res. I think you're probably gonna wanna go for plus speed just based on the way that she works. But maybe plus res couldn't be like the worst option. She does get 30% damage reduction if she initiates combat. On the foe's first attack, that is. So maybe giving her a little extra bulk wouldn't be the worst thing. But I, I do think you probably wanna go plus speed. All right, next up, we've got Badman Dussel over here, <laughs> voiced by Chris Sabat, a.k.a. Vegeta from Dragon Ball. So <laughs> our boy Dussel is like over 9,000 in terms of stats here. So 41 health, 39 attack, 18 speed, 39 defense, and then 31 res for another BST total of 168 on cavalry. Not too shabby. And then he's got an attack and a defense super boon. You're pretty much good to pick whichever one you want. 
I'd probably go plus attack on him because he gets that guaranteed follow-up on his weapon. So having plus attack and then with such a good attack stat, he's going to be able to hit pretty hard. All right, next up we have Selena. So Selena's got 40 HP, 39 attack, 39 speed, 16 defense, and 23 res for a grand total of 157. Not as high as Dussel and Regan, but it makes sense because she is a ranged cavalry type unit. All right, so she also has super boons in attack and speed. I don't know which one of those you probably want to go for. She has no follow-up on her weapon, so maybe plus speed is a little bit better. You typically want to have as much speed as possible on these units that have no follow-up. All right, let's move on to Natasha up next. All right, so Natasha is the four-star demote. So is she going to be a worthy plus 10 project? Let's go ahead and take a look. So 37 health, 36 attack, 32 speed, 24 defense, and 36 res for a grand total of 165. Now, I don't remember if that's higher than Emerin had. She doesn't have quite as good speed as Emerin did, but her attack is pretty good and her res is also pretty good. So she seems a little similar to Lena in that regard. I can't remember if Lena had better defense though. So I guess it's a bit of a toss up there. And she does have a super boon in HP. <laughs> RIP, they couldn't give her one in attack or res. That would have been awesome if she had a super boon in attack. But I guess it's just tough luck there. All right, next up we have Noel. Another possible 4-star plus 10 project for the free-to-play players. I believe he's going to be added to the summoning pool as soon as the banner is over. Just like we saw with Emerin last time. And Noel has 43 HP, 37 attack, 32 speed, 19 defense, and 35 res. For a grand total of 166 BST. And unfortunately, Noel has no super boons to speak of. So if you're going to want to get the plus 10 on him, you're not going to be able to score the maximum points. He suffers from the same syndrome that we saw on Nemesis, where they shafted him by one point on reaching the next scoring bin. So that's definitely going to hurt Noel's viability a little bit. He's basically all attack and then a decent amount of res and some decent speed. He seems comparable to a red version of Ilyana, I guess. Except, of course, Ileana had that juicy super boon in res. So, Noel kind of got a little bit shafted here, not gonna lie. But if you don't really care about scoring or anything like that, I do think he could be a decent unit. So, I wouldn't necessarily sleep on him, but he totally could have been a better unit than this. And finally, we have Kalik, who is gonna be our grand hero battle unit. So, once again, another free-to-play plus 10 option. And this guy's got 45 HP, 40 attack, 27 speed, 31 defense, and 33 res for a grand total of 176. Pretty much the cream of the crop when it comes to infantry BST at the moment. And he's got super boons in both attack and speed. Now, are you going to want to go plus speed on this guy? Probably not. His speed isn't really the greatest, but plus attack, I mean, with 40 base attack... This guy is going to hit pretty hard, especially if you're trying to run like a brave weapon on him. Oh, actually, hold on. If you ran the ninja axe on this guy and you gave him the plus speed super boon, that axe also gives plus four to speed, right? So you could actually bump his speed up quite a bit. Maybe go for some quad attacks. I guess something like that could work out. And because his defense and res are already so good naturally, even though he's taking minus four to defense and res from that weapon, it's not going to be like the biggest deal for him. So, huh, may maybe plus speed is decent on him. I don't know. I'll have to look into it a little bit more. But is he going to be better than Ninja Hana, who was the most recent axe unit that we got with the same BST? I don't really think so. The nice thing about Kalik is that he's going to cost less heroic rails to get the plus 10 on because he is a grand hero battle unit. So we are going to get a rerun of him eventually. And that just means one less copy you have to buy from the Grail shop. 
But I would totally say just invest in Hana. <laughs> like, Hana's stat line is so crazy for a free-to-play unit. She's literally got the same stat line as the Duo Alm, except they have defense and res flipped, basically. So who wouldn't want to build a free-to-play version of Duo Alm? Sans the perf skills, of course. <laughs> but that Ninja Hana is really good. So trust me on that. But if Kalec is one of your favorite characters and you just want to build him for fun, he's definitely worth it. He's got really solid stats and the Super Boon and High BST are definitely things in his favor. Okay, so here are his base skills. Let me actually go ahead and increase the size of this image. Okay, so he comes with Reprisal Axe Plus. A bit unfortunate. I thought he had a brand new Perf Axe from his sprite. But it's just Reprisal Axe, which is not very interesting. He has Dragon Fang, Guard 3, and a Defense Wave skill. I can't remember if that one is even or odd, but not like it matters. I mean, the Wave skills were never really all that great in the first place. And they didn't even give him Guard 3 as a 4-star unit. <laughs> Guard 3 is 5-star locked, and it's the Wave skill that you can get as a 4-star. So again, they're just letting everybody down when it comes to these free-to-play units coming with good fodder skills. I don't know why they're so afraid to just give us better skills for free. But whatever, man. I mean, th there's not much we can really do about that. And the final thing that I want to cover today is going to be the brand new ephemera codes that we're getting. So our five-star options are going to be the New Year Takumi, as well as the... New Year Levitane. I can't remember what weapon Levitane had. I think it was Kumare. And I don't even remember what that weapon does at the moment. It might be something similar to like some kind of gap skill where it gives plus five to double stats to one of your units. But I can't remember off top, so don't quote me on that. And I also don't remember which B slot skill she had. Probably Wrathful Staff. Now, it is nice to get a free copy of Wrathful Staff, because we are getting these staff unit refines now, and you're never going to know which skill they have built in, if it's Wrathful or Dazzling. So, just hanging on to a copy of this is going to be nice. And this Takumi comes with Kagami Mochi, so just minus one special trigger in dagger form. Not an awful weapon, <laughs> but we have been getting way crazier daggers lately. So I wouldn't really put the most stock into that. And for our four star options, we have Ross, who I think is definitely the most interesting of the batch. Ross is still a pretty solid merge project for free to play. So a free copy of him on the house is always welcome. And in terms of fodder skills, we have <laughs> the tried and true Klein, who comes with death blow three and quick repost. There's also Chad, who has speed smoke three, which May not be the worst option to take on certain units. So a decent selection of units for the ephemera codes this time around. And that is going to wrap us up for all of the things that I wanted to cover in this state of mind. Hope you guys enjoyed the coverage and let me know in the comment section down below which of the new refines is your favorite and which of the new units on the new banner are you most looking forward to. Let me know all that stuff in the comment section down below. And this is your boy Tacho signing out. So take care, fellas. And I will catch y'all again on the flip side.